Good morning, fans, Privateer FX. Coming at you on the Tuesday for the Wednesday, which is the last trading day before Christmas. Uh, it's the 22nd today. Hideous day yesterday. Holy fucking Christ. Um, had a really strong, profitable morning and then literally gave it all back. Um, on the move, 100 handles back up in at ES, Aussie to 99, dollar max to 91. So frustrating. Anyway, let's have a look here. We sold Euro through 78, and then we sold it again through 68. We did harvest some money there, but then we resold it um, back at 70. Um, and then stopped out yesterday at 30, so a waste of time. Here we are, 122.19. Um, it looks to me that the downside has been pierced, uh, and it's just tough when everyone has the same position, which everyone did yesterday. Um, consensus was short stocks, long dollars, uh, and then they all just got basically squeezed out at the end of the New York day I've seen it a million times I've been caught by it plenty of times as well you just have to respect your stops you have to be disciplined you know if it goes another 20 30 40 points all of a sudden you get yourself into a lot of hot water so I tried to hold I tried to resist I tried to get the best average I could and punch myself in the face Anyway, um, I do get the feeling we're going to take another visit here. This now area down here is super important. Um, here. So the FOMC low was here, 25. Yesterday, the low was, I think, 28. Um, 29. Through this is going to be trouble for a, for a very crowded dollar short um, team. Cable actually was good for us yesterday. We avoided it, we avoided it, we avoided it. Um, we tried to nibble on some longs down here once we hit the 131 handle. Got a little bit in, but then just sold it. Uh, we'll be looking at the same thing again today. Buying stretch low ones in cable because Brexit will get done uh, at the last minute. This is this is our belief. Dollar Swiss doing nothing. Dollar Yen, wow. Up through 66 the pivot. I would say, as I told you yesterday uh, on the video, but I guess the, the uh, audio didn't work yesterday, and then it got too busy. Printed up at 90 again, double top. I don't know where this is going to go. Um, nice squeeze yesterday. People have tight stops in dollar yen because nobody really knows what the hell is going on. So I think that the market's now pretty square. A lot of the shorts got nailed yesterday. So this could do a lot of different things. This could follow cross yen now. Um, a lot of things could happen in dollar yen. We're not, we're not playing dollar yen today. Euro yen Friday made those highs. Now we're in this massive range, 125, 70 on the downside, um, 127 the figure on the top side. Both very very important. Both should be traded. Sterling yen top side's fairly interesting just because the Brexit deal, uh, 140.75, not close. Dollars are you cunt. We were obviously long yesterday, feeling pretty good about it when it was trading up at 90. Um, then watched it trade all the way back down to 53. Here we are, 67 again. Um, it's basically the same chart as ES at this point. Um, I feel like the top side has been pierced, and this is going to be the way. 
even though this bar looks like a turn bar until we get below uh, and close below 1450 um, looking right hand side dollar czar dollar max similar uh, but dissimilar just confused by this 68 the high you motherfucker and then all the way back to 90 70 handles three three and a half percent retrace mouth-wateringly sadistic if you're friends with Satan go high-five him because that was, was a devilish fucking day yesterday never liked Satan um, Aussie same thing right through 79 was like slap banger but then we had one two three four nine green bars in a row all the way up to 76 to figure who's your daddy we resold 79's clipped out of them at 90 look like a schmuck now Aussie yen through 10 was interesting that's a straight cut this is just an equity chart they're all just equity charts, really, if you think about it. But Swiss Yen is kind of interesting here. I don't know why Swiss Yen would make a move, but we never really trade Swiss Yen. But this is an interesting chart. A little bit of a head and shoulders here. Here's your neckline, 116.40 Swiss Yen. If you'd like to trade that, it's a nice technical setup. Cad Yen not doing much. Euro Sterling just did the cable games there. Could not make it up through this big high up here. Um, we like long cable versus short euro sterling. Um, but it's the same sort of breakfast as Brexit deal. You want to sell high ones. Kiwi yen 73 was the bingo yesterday. It didn't really work. I mean, it went down to 70. But... Um, here we are at the figure again. Now 70 is important. If you look on the dailies, you can see what I'm talking about. The wick, all of these wicks are important now. So the, 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 the euro dollar wick, dollar yen wick, dollar czar wick. Wick meaning the top of this satanic daily bar. Hello, Mephistopheles. I know where your daughter lives. 2067 uh, is the Mephistopheles point in uh, dollar max. Dollar cat, it's really more Book of Job than pure Satan. So he's involved, but it's not purely his story. Um, 12966, not as useful that. Dollar China is actually just consolidating. It didn't really have the Satanic bar, so it's not as interesting. But this is interesting as far as the sideways consolidation. <clears throat> is this going to reprice at some point? It's basically a, a real soft risk off trade. <laughs> gold. Did not trade gold at all, but I did see it up at 11 at the open. And I was like, okay, she's gone. And I thought it was driven by fear, not driven by weak dollar. Then it traded all the way down to 60. Tesla. I wouldn't say it got slammed, but Tesla now needs to go down now that it's in the ES. And this is why ES is going to go down. And So this was a bit of virus, and this was a bit of the whole Tesla game, you know. Game of Thrones story is over. But 35.90. This is your um this is your this is your boogie nights line. 35.90. This was Satan buying this all the way back up to 36.94. I don't 
don't know what to do mid-range here. We're going to be quiet in the S today, but. And then maybe also worst of all, we, we had the idea to sell uh, ZB yesterday between uh, 173.15 and 174.05. But we were so busy uh, in the morning. Long dollar max, long dollars are short ES, trying to be short euros. Um, that we just left ZB alone, and of course ZB was really the big winner. Uh, dropped a point. You can use similar strategies today. You don't really want this to get above um, the Mephistopheles number, which is 173 and a quarter. So. I don't know, maybe we're going to leave ZB alone today. You can draw this channel. Bitcoin, not doing much. Up and down, but staying pretty bid. And crude, which was very good to us, crude. We were short from Friday. We bought uh, 4750s. And then we actually got long, if you can believe it, at 4630. Um, took two tries and then we kind of feathered out of that in the 80s and then we sold at the close 99s and 14s 47.99s 48.14s and we sort of harvested some money there that was a miracle considering how bad we are at, at crude uh, but it shows you what a fucking crazy day it was I actually got hurt in currencies and I got paid in futures and thank God the gun, uh, the the gun safe was locked because I was ready to shoot myself in the head at the end of the day yesterday. Anyway, good night's sleep, clean, conscious, frontal lobe is clear. Um, taking it slow here at the open. The risk reward setups out here are not great. Looking at both sides of this euro yen for the rest of the year, I think. For whatever reason, those are going to come into play. Maybe it could be uh, Brexit 127, the figure. I'm going to buy, try and buy stretch lows in uh, cable. Um, we'll be watching ES now. It's tough now, mid range. Uh, you kind of want to wait for the cash session as well. So, going to be a quiet European Open, watching a lot of stuff. Uh, I see, I guess still emotionally probably uh, licking wounds a little bit from yesterday. Um, but, you know, if you're in the same boat, I have some advice for you. Grow the fuck up um, and get on with it, right? If you broke some internal rules uh, that you have trading, and I did break one yesterday, just fix it. Don't. Don't cry over spilt milk. Let's move on. The calendar sucks today. Um, pretty much. Oh, wait, no. The calendar's okay today. Where am I? Tuesday. I was looking at Thursday. Everyone said bank holiday. Calendar is no consumer. U.S. GDP. Final GDP. So it's eh, final GDP for U.K. as well. These are final numbers. I don't. We don't expect much of a change in reading, and we have existing home sales in the U.S. Uh, late. So, anyway, I've said a lot, but there's not a lot of lot to do at the open. There's some irony to the fact that yesterday's video was muted, and there was a shitload to do at the open. Today, I'm babbling on like a drunk cat. Um, too much eggnog. And there's really not a lot to do at the open. Waiting and watching, looking um, to see where stocks go. Anyway, good luck out there, people. Talk to you tomorrow. Ciao.